Welcome to Recordology. Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology and welcome to our fabulous and realistic looking kitchen set. Some might say a upscale echoey kitchen. That takes me back. That was a comment we got probably two years ago, but I digress. So today we're going to do an experiment. This could be really cool. I'm really excited about that. So what you see in front of you is my reproduction gramophone. Uh, we reviewed this in the past. Maybe I'll put the link in the description below if you want to watch the review on it. It's a pretty cool unit. The sound is amazing when you're on Bluetooth mode. Uh, it's got a passive subwoofer on the bottom. It's got a tweeter and the uh, horn here, which this, this, I don't know why this is impressive to me, but there's actually a tweeter in there and then a contact that uh, meets up with this spot right here. So you can actually get stereo speakers left and right, the bass reflex on the bottom and the tweeter on the top. It's, I think that's pretty impressive and the sound is really good. Except on phonograph mode, you only get sound out of one of the side speakers plus the bass reflex and the tweeter, but I digress. What we're here to do today is to prove a theory that I read somewhere on the interwebs. Now, this may result in damage to this player, so I'm taking one for the team here. Apparently, if you get yourself a copy of Say C. Bohm by Eartha Kitt, specifically 47-535-58-A on the RCA Victor Blue label, sort of like I have right here, there is a frequency near the beginning. In fact, I think it might be this modulation that you can, let's see if I can point to it. Kind of right there. A little bit after the song starts. There is modulation in there that hits a frequency where some turntables can actually experience combustion. Is that real? I mean, is, it's, if this really works, if this really, really works, I'm gonna be impressed. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Let's get... Okay, so I got my shot set up a little bit better here. Um, so yeah, basically we're gonna drop the needle. The speed, you don't have to turn up the volume because we're gonna have the uh, copyright uh, content ID match issue. So I'll just play the beginning of it a little bit and then I'll turn the volume down so we don't have to worry about that because all we need is this thing blowing up and getting a content match. So we don't need that in our lives. I'm not ho necessarily hoping because I don't wanna have this thing destroyed, but on the other hand, wouldn't that be epic if this thing started flaming and smoking? I better be careful what I wish for. So without further ado, by the way, just for fun, check this out, this head is cracked. I don't know when that got cracked or how that got cracked. I did run the tracking force gauge on this before we started. I won't do it again just to save time, but basically it tracks at about six grams. So from a tracking force perspective, a ceramic cartridge, it's right on target. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna try and um, change up the angles here. So I'm gonna try and cut depending on you know what's going on. But let me set up for, let me set up for a little better angle for us starting this record. I'm not sure if this were to happen, if we would notice right away, if I'll smell something, if it happens, I'm not sure. But let me go ahead and get set up here. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop our needle here. I have no idea if this will work or not. I kinda want it to work and kinda don't wanna ruin this. So it's probably just a myth, but let's see here. So I'm going to start the song, turn the volume down, and it should hit that frequency about 20 seconds in. So let's just see what happens here. All right, dropping the needle. And I'm gonna turn the volume down. Okay, and what's weird about this is it's nothing to do with the record player, it's the frequency. So there's nothing wrong with the turntables itself, it's just the frequency that supposedly, that, what, oh no, this is, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's actually, <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, this is happening. It doesn't, it's weird, it doesn't really smell. Like you would think, oh, okay, it's coming out of the horn too. That is not, where is it coming from? I'm trying to see if it's coming from underneath here. I can't tell if it's really coming from underneath there or not, but it looks, it looks like it is. 
That is so weird. Why does it doesn't smell like electrical? This is okay. What in the world? This is just. I wonder if we look under the if we look under the platter. Let's see here. I don't know. This is <laughs> this is not good. Okay. And if I lift this up, I wonder. It's weird. It doesn't look like. Is it coming from up here? And then now it's not coming out of that hole. For a second, I thought it was coming out of that hole. This is so weird. This can't be a good thing. I should probably unplug this at this point. What a bizarre thing. Now it's coming from under there. So it's got, I should have had this ready to like open up so we could look at the circuitry. Now I'm not gonna do it right now while things are on fire <laughs> or whatever's happening here. It's coming out of the bottom too, I wonder I wonder if we can see underneath there. Let me see if I can lift this up for a second here. Oh, sorry. Oh, this is weird. It's not coming from the speaker underneath and it doesn't look like it's coming from those cracks. It looks like it's coming from the plinth and then sort of raining down. You know, it's coming out of the speaker a little bit, but not the bottom one. It's like coming out of the side speaker and kind of flowing underneath there. That is so weird. Okay, well, I think I've toasted this machine. The record is a dangerous record, you guys. So if you have this, think twice before you play it because I might, <laughs> I might have destroyed. No, I love this turntable. This is cool. It's got its quirks, but it's awesome. And now it's billowing. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, yeah, I I unplugged it because I'm like, this is not a good thing. That's okay. It's like oceaning out now. And it's weird because it doesn't look like it's coming out of that speaker. It doesn't look like it's coming out of the speaker. I don't get it. This is a mess, you guys. I have got my hands full. What the heck? I wonder if it... Well, it's not going to turn on now because it's off. But there's one more thing. One more thing, guys. April Fools! Tell me somebody believe me, please. I hope so. We've been thinking about this all day. So if you want to see a little behind the scenes on how we made this happen... Stay tuned. But April Fools, hope you're having a great day, you guys. Okay, so we got our dry ice for our little prank today. Get it all ready. And here is the device. We're not sure exactly how we're gonna do this, but part of what we wanted to do is have it somehow come out of the horn. So we'll have to see how this works out. Can you pour more? Like, you get closer, you don't need to get higher. What are we okay, so we just were taking a couple of shots and I knocked over the entire thing into the sink, which is part of how we're achieving this. And I snapped off, <laughs> I snapped this off. So for the remainder of these shots, yeah, that's not gonna be in there. But what we're doing now is we're, go ahead and put this stock pot in. So we've got this stock pot that we're gonna use to hold a big piece of the dry ice because we've kind of burned up. I've been using this pitcher so far. Um, so we're gonna put that in there and then a fresh piece and try to get one more trick shot where it's kind of billowing up. I don't think I need a horn on it anymore at this point, but this I'm gonna have to hide. So that's not great. We got enough dry ice and smoke here for days. The video has been done for like a day and a half, but got a lot of this left over yeah fun stuff and I did break this like I said this is not a good thing not a great thing at all hey guys hi funny meeting you here <laughs> <laughs> 